<laughs> Hi everybody, I'm coming on live because I've got a box of stamping up goodies. Come and join me to see what's inside. So, a couple of disclaimers. It's not all mine. I'd love it to be, but it's not all mine. Some of these are customer orders. Sorry, my wires in a tangle. Some of some of them are customer orders. Some of it's mine. And some of it is thanks to those who have kindly, kindly PayPal'd me um, a donation. And to my customers who attend my classes and for those who've placed orders. Allows me to um, place orders with Stampin' Up. So, in a minute, I'm going to unbox and see what's inside because I love getting boxes because I forget what I ordered and um, when it comes it always seems to be a bit of a surprise. It's like Christmas every time an order goes in. So if you want this amazing feeling then um, you can too by ordering through my shop at Stampin' Star Creations. Now, I've been on for a minute and I thought that maybe at least one person can come on but I can't actually see any comments. So I don't know whether to, oh, I can see a thumbs up. Okay, we're fine. We're all right, people, it's okay. <laughs> Maybe the notifications are a bit slow, that's fine. I won't panic anymore, I won't panic. Good to see you all, thank you for so much for joining me live. There they are. You see, when I know that people do come in, I'm not just been, you know, what's the word? So I was just chatting to myself for a while. So, shall we get unboxing? Now, I think I, I might leave the camera here so that I can unbox or you can get a... I'll give you that view for a minute. If that's not too bad to tolerate. <clears throat> just ignore the mess on the floor. Because it does get cleared up. Like, that just box needs pushing in like that. <laughs> and my floor is my extra desk space. Because um, there never seems to be enough room on the... The desk when you come to when I'm doing my um, videos. Oh, this is so exciting! Dun, dun, dun. We have packaging. <laughs> Sarah says she's excited for me. Okay, let's turn you back. I'm gonna try and have you like that. Hi, Jennifer from Phoenix, Arizona. Welcome. I'm going to try and turn you like that and see if that's the best angle. If it doesn't work, then we'll change tack because what happens normally... Oh, actually, no. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so disorganised. Um, I'm going to point you to my table because I've got something I want to share with you as well. In fact, I'll tell you that first. Oh, keep you in suspense. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm a bit... Oh, dear. What's going on here today? <laughs> My phone isn't used to being on at this time of day, that's the trouble. <laughs> okay, got to sort out the lighting. Well, everyone watching this on replay, you might want to skip it five minutes. Okay, so some of you who watch me have been saying, Esther, do you have a Facebook page dedicated for um, to be able to share projects that were in, you know, if there's things that we've made that you've made or been inspired us? And I'm like, yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know if I need a page. But um, I think because I've had enough people asking, late last night I decided I will. Why not have a group? So I know it's a little bit, um, I just wrote it on a scrap of paper. So if you would like to go to SSC, short for Stampin' Star Creations, Inspired and Shared group, you can go and join my group. Um, it's very embryonic form, if I could say that because I've I've kind of literally set it up yesterday but I thought actually if I start sharing it out and getting people on there I can do all the tidying up later so do go and check that out not now in a minute because I'm about to do the unboxing now like I said I need somewhere to dump all the stuff like I said this is not all mine and it gets to the point I forget what's mine and what's everyone else's sometimes but let's do this Good morning, we'll join you with my breakfast. Look at these colours together, aren't they so pretty? Now, a lot of these aren't mine. This is for a customer. Those ones for a customer. These are for me. 
I know, I can't wait to see you tomorrow as well, Anne-Marie. I'll have to have a good old get-together. Good morning, Gloria. So I ordered these. Now, Mango Melody wasn't necessarily I thought I liked, but you lot, you lot out there, keep choosing Mango Melody for me in my creations. And I thought, oh, it's quite a nice orange colour to have. Now, what I should do is have I to grab this scrap here because I do like to test out. Oh, yeah. It's a nice sunshine yellowy colour. Orangey yellow. Daffodil yellow, if you will. Now, what I am going to do, well, I was going to zoom you in a bit more, but sometimes, there you go. So those are mine to add to my ever-growing collection. And these are somebody else's. Right, I'm going to have to find find space for this. Right, it'll have to be the floor. Okay. Mm. Oh, look, they've repackaged the Tombow glue. It now looks like this. So this is the multi-liquid purpose glue. If you hear me say, talk about that, it's my go-to glue. All right, brilliant stuff. I like to make sure I have a stock of gems. I'm whizzing through the, this kind of stuff, okay, and I'll take my time over the stamp sets a bit more. Um, it's always great to have these gems. When I first started stamping, I was like, do I really need gems with sticky dots on the back? Because like, I'm so used to sticking it with glue, I don't really need it with dots. But when I got them, do you know what? They are so handy to already have sticky on the back. Now, any stamp sets and things I'm going to just put off to one side. One, two, three. Oh, so, oh, so excited! All these, as I said, they're not mine, but it's just quite exciting to see. <laughs> to see what I've got here. I, I need somewhere to perch the box. It's okay. Um, what should I do? So, look, the stamp sets are falling down now. Should we go through the stamp sets real quick? Okay, so I'm going to be doing a class. It's a warm yellow. Oh, that's smart looking, says Kay. It's a warm yellow to blend with warm colours. You need a warm yellow, indeed. Sounds like, oh my goodness, it, is, it feels like Christmas, better than Christmas. More packaging on the... Yeah, there is more packaging, but they've had um, um, issues with the um, custom, custom, so that's probably why. So I'm doing a class with Under My Umbrella, and I know a couple of you on here are going to join me with my class. I've got a fun card idea. I've got I don't want to give too much away, but I've got ideas happening. So um I've managed to order some of these sets already. Is this one this one this one's yours, Ellie, here. And um this I've I've got a set and I've borrowed Anne Marie. So yeah, we can play that. No, that's your set right there. <laughs> Says Ellie's gonna come to my class. Good morning, Colorado. So let me just give you a quick sneaky peek of this set, pro proper look at this. So it's got sentiments, it's got umbrellas, it's got the boots. I'm getting ideas. My ideas are rolling around in my head. So don't feel that you're limited. Remember, with stamps, there's so much you can do. And I eyed this up and I was like, yeah, maybe. But the more I thought about it, the more I was like, yes, I have plans for you. So keep an eye on because I hope to do some videos with that eventually after I've got my... Um, class out the way hello Bobby hello now this is something again that I've been buying up now I didn't have the old stamping up corner rounder puncher <laughs> um and every so often I think oh I could really do with one of those corner rounders and what stamping up have done they've got this trio punch um Ellie said you have a good imagination oh good thank you it does help sometimes so not only do you get your corners, like so, so there's like a little ledge. Let me finish at a funny angle. I've got a little ledge and you press down. No, I'm, I'm leaning on my box so it doesn't fall off my lap. Oh, I think it did it because it's thin paper. Let me try that again. Like I said, I'm, there we go, that's a bit better. Nice, corner rounder. And then you've got a frilly, 
Frilly Billy design. It needs to be a bit more upright to it. Oh, that's pretty. And then so you, and you've got a little tag design. So you've got three in one with that. That's so cool. So whichever way you kind of lean is where you oh look, that's really useful. It's got a center point on there for a tag. So you know where the centre of the tag what a clever. Aren't they clever stamping up? Right, let's move on. Oh yes. Take your pick dye brush tip. This is another thing I've been eyeing up. So if you've seen the take your pick tool I've been using, you've got the pointy end, this comes out, you've got a spatula end, you can turn it round. Then you've got a putty end for picking things up and you've got your um, double-ended embossing um, scoring tool, which goes in there. Now they've come out with dun, 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 a sponge. No, I'm joking. Um, in here, somewhere in here, I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping it's not just two sponges or I'll be a little bit sad. <laughs> a sponge. Okay, where is the actual thingy? I was worried then. <laughs> I was like, are they joking me? Like... <laughs> Here it is, I found it, it was in the box. Oh dear. So I think this screws on to the, this end here. Let me just take this lid off so I can grip. How do you do this? Oh, you unscrew it, Esther. Unscrew it, that's right. I tend to leave that one in. So this... Whoop, screws on to there. Oh! Cool. So, if you are have got metal dies, I'm trying to look to see if I've got any at hand. Um, this is great for popping out those little pieces, and you just rub the brush along your dies, and it's all in one. How fab is that? So, I've custom made a little box here to keep my tool in there, so that I, I so it's all together and I don't lose it. So that's exciting, so I must keep those bits together. I'm going to stick that back so I don't lose it. And those are the um, sponges to go with. Get rid of that to the floor. Now, let's see what else we have. Oh, what is that? Oh, see, I get what I've ordered. It's so exciting. Okay, again, these just always check your dimensionals. If you need to bulk up your order, it's always worth chucking on some dimensionals. These are the mini ones, and they come in the bigger size as well. And pearls. So I've got my diamonds, my pearls, my dimensionals. Those three kind of staple things in your craft to another tombow. Some more umbrella punches. Mm, showed you that already. Oh yes, I forgot I ordered this. So um with a pound order, you can get yourself one of these pretty babies. Um and there's a stamp set to go with it, which I didn't get because I wanted to concentrate on some other stamp sets. Um, this is going to be carrying over to the annual catalogue. So if you don't get your hands on it now, you, you can hold on to it and um, hold on to it. Hold on and get it when it um, comes out in the main catalogue. It's such a pretty flower. I'm just rolling my... There you go. It's a lovely size. And... You know, by colouring it in in any colour, it could become any flower. And that will make a great addition to what we've got. We don't have anything quite like it at the moment. So that's quite exciting to have, have that in our toolkit. So I forgot I don't. See, I forgot I ordered that. It is so much like Christmas. Um, somebody wanted a real red ink pad. Who wanted the real red ink pad? I can't remember. Um, what have we got here? Let's see. Um, somebody's ordered the B papers. I can't remember who that is. I've shown you that before, so I'm not going to dwell on that. Some gold foil. I always like to have some foil paper on hand. You can do lots of this. You can colour it. You can emboss it. Great to have metallics in your craft. If you're if you're wanting to kind of just step up those cards, metallics I find are great. Sorry, I'm just going to check in case I've missed any comments. 
Hi, Jamie. Bev says she loves that punch. I'm so sorry. I use this punch all the time. Love the decorative one, says Ellie. Makes the punch... You push in the centre. Oh, okay. Thank you for that, Bev. I wouldn't have known that. So with that trio punch that I showed you earlier, apparently you push in the centre after stand up and do, and do it properly. I never saw that centre point on the punch. I definitely need new glasses. They had me fooled. Hi, Cheryl. Smart, the extra space for tools. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? That brush is more for intricate than other dies. Thank you for the tip off, Steph. So that little brush, um, great for those little intricate dies, you know, when you're trying to pop out all the pieces. Hi, Gloria. Still think, didn't tell me you were on Facebook, didn't either. Oh, I'm sorry, Wendy. Love the bees. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. There's so many messages. I'm sorry. I, I get so engrossed in what I'm doing. I then end up not... Um, so this is the ribbon that is in, looking for my scissors, is in the mini catalogue at the moment. And it goes with like the kind of party, I'm going to call it a children's suite. And it's the, uh, is it called Rooshed, Rooshed ribbon? Rooshed, yes, I am right. Rooshed ribbon. Am I breaking up or has anyone else got issues with my connection? For some reason, YouTube doesn't like my connection. So it's already ruched, which is, gives a really cool effect. And it's about... Mm, should we get the special ruler out? A little bit breaking. It's annoying, isn't it? Okay, that's a quarter of an inch. We go. Let's. You've got to do the bow test. Do the bow test. Hi, Ruth. When did you sneak on? See, I always think if you can like make a bow and it um, stays nicely, it keeps stopping and starting. Well, that's annoying because I'm trying to do an unboxing here. I'll just show you this as a reminder. You can go and join my group on Facebook. <laughs> I get into the good bits as well. Something exciting in this box. Right, I'm going to put this box down now. So many stamps. Who ordered this? Somebody's ordered this. Thoughtful Blooms. I don't think it was me. Somebody's ordered painted poppies. Oh yes, I've got a few people that ordered painted poppies. This is the stamp set to go with the punch that I was just telling about the little flower one it's got some great details in here and lovely sentiments look at that isn't that pretty okay now I didn't realize <laughs> that I actually put a big enough order <laughs> to get this stamp set in I thought it was one that you had to pay for and add to your order I didn't realize <laughs> so this was a really nice surprise for me um and I saw a card with, that somebody used this with the other day, and they are so cute. It's on red rubber as well. Look at this one. Does my bum look big in this? Hey. Ta-da! I bought a flower for you. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm going to have fun playing with these. Little ladybug. That's that one. What's in here? Oh, this is my friend's ordered the garden gateway set. Now, I'm sure she wouldn't mind if I open this just to show you. Just to show you. Okay, so this garden gateway set, I again, I keep seeing some lovely ideas with this. I saw an idea where somebody had the horse stamp in the background. This was like stable gates. So I'm going to open the dies to see what dies you get with this. Let's have a look. I'm trying to remember how it goes back <laughs> because I'm going to have to... <gasps> look, you get so many dies in here. You get these gorgeous roses. Wow, look, you get these vines. And a look, look, it's a little cat. Oh. You can get a, punt, a die to cut out the, the cat. And you've got these, these gates actually open. Beautiful. Might just have to borrow. Ooh. 
So if you see something that you like, you too can order if you're in the UK or certain European countries from my shop at stampinstarcreations.co.uk Same name as my channel, just add .co.uk at the end. Now I'm going to carefully try and put this bit back in. Wendy's having issues. I hope the rest of you aren't too bad. There we go. Put those together. What else have we got here? Hey, hey. The meerkat set. These guys are so cute. Now, my lighting is a little bit dreadful. Let's try and... That's better. This is the Gangs or Mir. So with any £45 purchase, you can earn this for free. Uh, Stuff says, I love that ladybird bug set, but I'm not qualified yet to get it. Oh, sorry, Steph. I'll have to take a look into the kitchen while I start cooking. No worries, Ellie. So the great thing about these is the, I love the hat. You can pop the hat on any of these little creatures here and have a little party going on. And you've got the cactus, the little guy by himself. And this one popping up here like proper little meerkats going, hello. <laughs> Okay, I was tempted to this. I might have to borrow this one as well. I just end up borrowing everyone's um, sets. Hi. Now, I've been practising your name. Navarana. Did I say it right? Outdoor barbecue. What a great one. Now, I'm not trying to be biased, but blokes and barbecues kind of go hand in hand, don't they? Love is in the air. Oh, wait, that's barbecue. <laughs> I hadn't spotted that before. That's quite funny. A dad like you is rare. Oh, very good. You're invited, so you can use these for invites. Well done. Holy smokes, it's your birthday. And the, look at these. These are like really detailed and sketched. Oh, look. Did you notice the grill lines on the steak? Hi there, Christine. Hello. Check out the burger. Look, you can see the tomatoes, the lettuce and everything. That is so cool. And look at the corn on the cob. Look at this. You can work out. The shrimps, the mushrooms, I don't know if that's pineapple. Oh, sorry, Cindy. Obviously, this one's for you. Cindy says she's the griller in her family. So this is on red rubber as well. The detail is incredible. Somebody has, like, really thought about that. I love the, the sketchy design on that. <clears throat> Somebody's ordered this. This has got beautiful flowers in. And now you can order the dies to cut these out. Available now. So, um... And that ladybug stamp set. You can get matching dies. You don't have to cut it out with scissors. You can get matching dies with this and this. Okay, I think these two go hand in hand. Let's have a look. So one of my customers is very excited to get her hands on this. So this is Ride With Me. And it's you can stamp out the truck. But you might be wondering what all these pieces are. Is this the matching dies? Yes, these dies go with this do you want let's have a little sneaky peeky let's have a look i try not to dismantle everything too much so that when i give it to my customers it doesn't look as if i've like completely gone into all their order <laughs> i'm sure they will not mind my customers are nice like that let's have a look what we've got here upside down Oh, I'm sorry you're having troubles, Wendy. I hope you can catch up. Whoa, Zers. Look at that. So you don't have to figure out how to cut a truck. It's done for you. You've just got to fold along the fold lines. It cuts out all the details. That is incredible. And I know people have made other things with this as well, not just trucks you can adapt it to make other vehicles so i know she's really excited to get her hands on that so she's been waiting and waiting for me to put in an order so um there you go i'm gonna leave that as it is okay we nearly got what two things left okay Th this one was on my list for a while and i've put off ordering it but actually this birthday's coming up and I just think if you can personalise something with a number or with the detail um, of you know family member or a friend it's, it's a great way to do it and certain anniversaries like Stampin' Up! anniversaries perhaps which I know I've got a few of my downline coming up to the anniversaries so this is I mean it's got stars in 
need I say any more? It's got stars, I'd be fine. <laughs> so you've got daughter, husband, brother, sister, son, friend, mother, wife, best father-in-law, grand niece, birthday. On your, you're there for a happy two-way wonderful. And you've got all these details, plus you've got the um, numbers. Nice, really nice size number. Not huge, not tiny, that nice medium size number. And you've got the present, the stars, great for kids' birthdays. Great for, if you just knock up a really quick birthday present, birthday present, birthday card. This, this one's a good one to go for. So you get 36 stamps in here for only, I think it's £20. So that's just a great one to have on the shelf as a go-to stamp set, I think. Okay, the last thing. What on earth is that, Esther? Let me tell you. It is. Oh, it's a sponge. It's got a sponge around the edge. Does anyone know what this could possibly be? Oh, it says on there. <laughs> so you just pop this out. Oh, this is sturdy. Storage. Sort of cute. Valentine's goodie done with the goodies done with the truck oh that's a cute idea i love the look everything's embossed with stamping up okay excuse my my nail is split right down the middle and it hasn't been fixed for years and i don't think it will get fixed so sorry get to see my nice nail <laughs> okay so let's have a look at this storage in here i've decided to go for some blend storage for my blend i was in two minds whether to get um, storage for it or not because I have it all in this box but I think the, the truth of the matter is I, I, I'm only going to get more blends so um, I might have to just rejig what I do but I just figure it'll be easier Ooh. oh look hello oh, I got little rubber feet to go on the bottom oh <laughs> Because you can do that, look. If I wanted to have them all stacked, can't see a thing, can you? If I wanted them to be like all stacked separately, this is the first time I've seen the storage. Look, and this is a lid. I wasn't sure whether to go for a lid or a tray, but that just sits on there like that. So you can do like a complete, like, you know, combo thing. So these can be all separate. You can just take a tray out with you or you can just, look, they're just so easy to stack, like so, like that. Okay, let's give it a little, give us a, a twirl. Look at that, they all stack neatly. And it's that kind of hard plastic and you can see that kind of rich design. Now the test is, actually put the blends in oh, this is so exciting so what happens is you've got the the lid depth that sticks out okay so you can easily grab i love my blend storage it's so much easier to find the color that's what i'm hoping because normally i'm like this rifling through my box to find the right color but with my blend storage da -da -da, very nice Esther. it's more convenient than in a box I know, because I'm forever rifling. You probably hear me on my um, on my lives rifling through my box. So um, what I might do is put this on my shelf in front of me, and I can just like grab out the box. Oh, it looks so neat already. Look how tidy that is. This or this? What do we reckon? Ooh. So that's really fun. And look, they just slip out like that. And they're the perfect. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? You want your stamping blends to be horizontal because if you have them upright, all the ink is going to go down one end. But because these are dual ended, you do ideally need to lie them flat. So I love you, battered box, but I'm sorry. Move aside. The Rolls Royce has come to town. I have a similar system and love it. I'm sure you will too. It's great to see the colours and it looks nice on the table. Um, Karen says, I have them in a marker case. Yeah, I was, I, I mean, even with my ink storage, I did wonder about changing that, but I think I'm happy with my ink storage. But I think with the blends, because I do use them quite a bit, 
I'm going to I'm going to enjoy having them in here. So there's a little wriggle room on either side. But they do fit nice and snug and they're going to look so pretty. Like a bit, you know, I've got a bit OCD about colour order, so I will have to go in the exact order. I can't be doing with things in the wrong order. Unless that oh, we could put them that way as well. I don't think it I suppose that it's better off flat. But like you have got actually got enough space for them to go like that. Not that you would want them like that necessarily. It's just an observation. Okay, let's say hello to you all. I also have the ink storage and that is well worth getting. Mm, maybe I might have to consider some more storage. My ink pads are in old cat food boxes. Great. Use what you've got. I do eventually want to do a craft room tour. Um, I know some of you have seen my craft room. Some of you haven't. Some just not interested. Some might go, yeah, I want to see what your messy room looks like. And the other thing that I'm trying to hold in my head is that I'm going to try not to tidy my room before I do my craft tour. I'm going to try. <laughs> It might not happen, I might be just like, no, I'm sorry, it's just too messy. Um, but I kind of want, I, I was looking on YouTube at a few craft tours and I'm thinking, it's all very lovely, but everything is so neat and tidy. And I know some people do craft like that, but realistically, like if you could see my table right now, it's a little bit of a mess. And that's that's what crafting is. I, I bring it out, I pack it away and, you know, and I find that, the storage and the way that I've stored things in my craft room, they're there because that's the space that I've got. It doesn't show an active craft room exactly. My space looks like it's just exploded. Um, and I always find that my space grows with me, which I think is a bit more natural. If um, So I've, I'm so blessed to have this craft room. Um, I've had my big um, unit next to me for years now, and that's been handy. But... I don't have the neatness or the capacity or the space to afford to have nice things on display in there. So um, because it's a cube, you can actually fill it quite a lot. So things like my trolley and other bits and pieces, they become additions to my craft room. So not th I don't think, oh, I could that would fit nicely for my ribbons and then get a ribbon pole or whatever. I just think, why can I put my ribbons? They're going in there, that kind of thing. So hopefully keeping it real is what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah. So that's it for my unboxing, my mega, what I call mega unboxing. That is quite a big order for me. So thank you so much once again for those of you who particularly PayPal. Now, I know that some of you have super chatted as well, but until I get to a certain limit in my account, I can't actually get the money out. So that, that will happen eventually. But thank you for those who super chat. And PayPal um, takes less percentage than, than Super Chat as well, just incidentally. Let's just catch up on your message. I have to tidy because I'm very limited on space. Yeah, I know that for some people you might have a really small craft space, so you've got to tidy everything away. Um, Steph says, I had to tidy up my desk earlier as I couldn't physically craft anymore. OK, that's when you know, isn't it? <laughs> Navarana says, know exactly what I mean. Thanks for sharing today. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's a pleasure to be able to share with you. And I'm excited to go and sort out all the orders, write out some customer thank you notes and um, get sorted. So thank you so much for joining me. I was so excited to get my parcel today. I'm going to be spending time sorting out my blends in my blend box and um, stamping and, you know, all, all sorts. So thank you. Just catch up. You hijacked the dining room. Well, I did that in the old house. I had I did hijack the craft the dining room, which was called more of a craft room than it was a dining room. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. Always a joy. Thank you. That's very kind. I will have fun, Karen. Thank you so much. I will have fun. And um, just the last thing, if you head over to so. I've started up a Facebook group. Sorry, I know I said I was going. I've started up a Facebook group for those who want to share any inspired work from my videos or my makes. So if there's something I've made or that's on my YouTube channel or my Facebook lives or that I've shown you and you've been inspired by it and have then gone on to make stuff, which I know some of you have kind of emailed me and said, look what I've made, which is fantastic. I now have my own group. So just initially just pop on and say hello and then um, and then we'll get sharing eventually and I'll get my head around that space. But um, don't be surprised if I then 
delete posts off there if it says thanks for adding me and stuff I'm going to tidy up eventually but I'm just trying to publicize it initially so that everybody knows um I'm trying to get this to focus it doesn't it doesn't want to focus so it's ssc short for stamping star creations inspired and shared so go and find that on um facebook can you join even if you're not very active yeah 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 i mean you know it, it's just people that have been this one by me hopefully you should come across three questions to answer because I, I don't want all and sundry on there so all right i'm checking out take care good to see you if you want to catch me hit that bell button and subscribe by there if you've enjoyed this video give us an old thumbs up and you can comment let me know what your favorite thing was out of my unboxing there you go there's a challenge for you take care everybody good to see you and i'll catch up with you again soon Bye bye